Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to take a look at the TIGWELD 200EX. It's a 220 volt machine with a 25% duty cycle. It's capable of doing gas tungsten arc welding both in the AC and the DC mode. It's also capable of stick welding in the AC and the DC mode and it operates from 10 to 200 amps. So today we're going to take a look at some of the different welds that we can make using gas tungsten arc welding. So hang out for a few minutes and let's see what it can do. So the weld I was about ready to make is going to look something like this. Two overlapping plates with a fillet weld put in on the arrow side. So using the torch provided I set up a number 7 cup and a 332nd tungsten. I set the machine to about 125 amps and then I clamped down a lap joint to the tabletop and made a first pass with it using those particular settings. I used a 332nd 4043 filler rod when doing it. So for the next two passes I set up the pulser. I left it at 125 and set 50 for the pulsed on time and then I set 50 for the background amperage and then set the pulse rate to about two pulses per second and adjusted the frequency of the AC sine wave to 100 hertz. So with the pulser set up at two pulses per second I tried to add filler metal on every other pulse so essentially I was daubing the filler metal in about once per second to try to keep the puddle full and even. And the pulser as it comes on and off, on and off, will help create a nice, even, smooth ripple pattern in the surface of the bead, even if there is a slight variation in how you add the filler metal. So the second pass should be centered on the lower toe or lower edge of the first pass. So for the third bead, I tried to stay centered on that upper edge there, making sure that the puddle overlapped onto the second pass there and just cut or just melted into that top edge above the first pass. So I kept adding the filler at that same rate that I did with the previous bead. We can see on the second pass there on the lower toe, the very even ripple pattern that was caused by using the pulser. And then I taper out here at the end and add one more daub of filler right at the end there to fill up the puddle and then back off the pedal. So there's what the finished weld looked like with the three passes and curious about penetration I went ahead and saw cut it to look inside. So thanks again for hanging out for a few minutes and taking a look at some of the capabilities of the TIGWELD 200EX. If you like what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to see more about this machine and others, take a look at our website, longevity-inc.com. So thanks again for hanging out, and we hope to see you back here real soon.